So selling simple designs on Etsy is really successful. And this is one of the reasons that I tapped into print on demand because I came from making text-based t-shirt designs. Okay, if you are not new here, then you know the majority of my t-shirts were all text-based. So I decided to incorporate that same design style into my print on demand products. Hey, good people, life has been life in, but it feels good to be back creating the content that's gonna help you thrive and make money because that's what I'm here for, okay? Now, if you've never thought of it from this lens, I wanna paint you a picture. Etsy is similar to YouTube. And what I mean by that is, is that YouTube will only display videos on the homepage that are performing well, okay? That has really good engagement, comments, all of that, okay? And Etsy is just like that. So meaning, when you log on to Etsy or when you go to Etsy and you see all of those products that's on that homepage, that means that those products are performing well, okay? Etsy is not going to promote products that's not doing well just like YouTube is not about to promote a video that's not performing well. So when you see it from that lens, you start to pick up products that are, you know, that are displaying, that are selling really well. And a lot of those products are simple, okay? And when I say simple, like really text-based, an outline of a drawing or something to that nature. So in today's video, I'm going to pretty much show you how simple products sell really well if you want to start your print-on-demand business. You don't have to be Einstein when it comes to graphic designing, okay? When I tell you I am not Einstein when it comes to making, you know, designs and selling them. Um, and so this way, I'm going to show you proof because I'm all about receipts, okay, that simple designs sell really well and are making print on demand sellers lots of money, okay? So in just a few moments, I'm going to share my screen to walk you through this process. I'm going to focus on the design part first and then after that, show you how to make it in your own way. So be sure to stay through to the end of this video so that way you will miss a thing. Okay, so as promised, I really want to walk you through this process of number one, identifying the simple designs and then going to find the products on Printify. So that's what we're going to just do here, you know, right now. So I'm on Etsy. Okay. And so this is what I mean about Etsy is going to showcase, you know, the things that are selling well. Now, just part of my previous like search history, you get to see what I was looking into just from my own shop and just inspiration. And so you see that it's focusing on stationary, you know, drinkware, and then Etsy is also advertising back to school savings, which I will point out that this is a really good time to start thinking about back to school and Q4. It's never, never a bad thing to, you know, start early when it comes to the next season or semester of products that's going to be selling. Okay. So I'll get back to what I'm talking about. And so I want to focus on stationary products for this video. And so let's dive into pretty much just typing in a simple type of design and you know how that's going to look on a product so one thing that comes in mind is birth flower birth flower designs are simple okay and i'm going to show you how you can find those and also you can just add something very personal to a product and it sells really well so i'm just going to type in birth flower journal okay so my page has loaded here and I'm just pretty much just looking and it's all the same thing. Okay. So these sellers, the top row, um, I, I personally tend to not click on the top row because as someone who does use Etsy ads and I understand the calculations. Okay. I don't want to click on their listing if I'm not going to buy anything. Now this second row is doing pretty well because you get to see the reviews of this person's shop. And so I am going to use a little tool that I love called Everbee. And so I have this, I've mentioned this before, um, but Everbee's growth plan allows me to see more in depth of the analytics of how this product is performing. Now you saw for yourself how simple the birth flower designs are. It's literally whatever month birth flower and a name. Okay. Two, two things. <laughs> so you think of it like that is super, super simple. Now, when I use Everbee's product analytics tool, I like to filter by the highest revenue possible. I'm all about my coin. Okay. And I want you to be all about your coin. Okay. So just think of it like that. If you are starting a business, you need to think about what products can earn you the most money, honey, because that's what we are doing. All right. So when it comes to this birth flower journal, and then as I skim through like what's making the most money, this $2,600, $2,500, $1,800 plus, okay, monthly revenue sounds pretty good to me. Now, this is just revenue. This is not this person's profit, 
but just seeing like eyeballing it when you have multiple products that's bringing in $1,800 I mean come on now that'll add up pretty quickly so this is what I mean about just being able to identify what's selling really well okay so now that I've pretty much looked at the numbers I trust this tool I've used it multiple times for my own shop so if you ever want to use Everbee I do have a link down below for you to use it because I want you guys to succeed when it comes to print on demand okay so be sure to click that link but this is what I do. I just take a few minutes to just see what the analytics are, check the data, and then I get to work, okay? I go to the lab. So as I just do more of my skimming through, seeing what stands out, seeing what's different, you notice the same thing. Now this particular um, search was a birth flower journal. Now what I also can do is type in birth flower notebook just to see if anything's gonna stand out a little bit differently. But for the most part, you're noticing that some of those same products are, you know, pulling up just like it was for the birth flower journal. So whatever you want to think of when it comes to, you know, designing, you know, that can be anything. And also, if you're new to Etsy print on demand, I also want to encourage you to when you do click into a listing, I'm going to just use this seller as an example. They're doing really well. When you click into a listing and just to add the extra layer of research, I will scroll all the way down to the bottom, okay? The reason why I wanna point this out is because you get to really start learning how to form your SEO, okay? So SEO is gonna be a really good way for you to pull in on that first page, like I mentioned earlier, for the search results. When you land on that first page, People want to shop with you because number one, they don't want to go digging for your product. So if you pull up for a birth flower journal or may birth flower journal be more specific, you'll have a chance to get those sales. But at the bottom of a listing page is going to give you other like related searches. And this is what you can start using for your tags. Okay. These are the, this is the verbiage. Okay. The SEO that you can start using to add to your listing to make sure that Etsy pulls in your products. So I wanted to point that out to you because I'm all about sharing everything that I've just been learning. And you know, this is a continuum. I'm gonna keep learning and I got more videos coming. So just know I got y'all. So now that I've completed my research so far, I'm gonna go ahead and head to Printify to first make sure that those products exist, okay? Um, I personally know that they do, but if you are new to all of this, I wanna just kinda walk you through it step by step. And so this is Printify's catalog homepage. And so one of the best ways to see what you can sell is by going through this catalog. It's just like going through a magazine, okay? Remember back in the day, we used to get magazines for, you know, department stores and see what they have. Printify is just like that. So I like to type in notebook hit enter as you can see i favorited which you can click the heart here and favorite some items too i favorited some items that i see on etsy because it lets me know the number one i might want to use this and also prince if i offers it it's easy and if it's a bestseller too if you see this bestseller badge that means that according to prince if I's, you know analytics this product sells well for their sellers okay whether that's on etsy wix shopify whatever you use this is a best-selling product according to Printify's um, logistics, basically. So here is a notebook, easy peasy. I'm gonna click on this. I get to see more of the product insights, like it's ruled line, how many you know sheets come in a notebook, all things that are gonna be great to add to your description box, okay? So that's all I wanna say about that. And so now that I know that this product exists, I'm going to pretty much start designing. So what I like to do is I'll click the start designing button. Now, depending on your working style, um, I wanna suggest one or two things. When it comes to creating the actual design of something, it's best to use that template because it's gonna be that perfect fit, which is great because Printify provides the print area size here, which is at 1810 by 2534 pixels or you also can design the actual template however you want to do it you know that's all up to you but you'll be able to have that guide which is super duper helpful okay so i already have this open which i'll go ahead and open here in canva i have canva pro i've used it for years i really like it so hey if it's not broke don't fix it so this is what i've been using and so this is a journal cover that i'll show you guys again this is this but in canva form okay so i know that this is the right dimension so now when i design something on it it's going to be the exact match 
Okay, so now that I have the design template and all that, I now go to Creative Fabrica, which is also linked down below. But I love Creative Fabrica, okay? I really enjoy it. Um, I think it's when it comes to, you know, starting a business brand new and you have a lot to learn. And the last thing you want to do is spend so much time designing. Creative Fabrica saves me so much time and I just really enjoy it. So I'm going to talk about it a lot. <laughs> But um, this is where I'm now going to start looking for that birth flower image. So simple. Just go to the search bar and I'm going to type in a birth flower. And that could be PNG, SVG. Typically when you find something, you can download it in multiple different file types. That's what I've discovered about Creative Fabrica. But just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to type in birth flower PNG. And voila. Okay, so now I have so many options to choose from. This is where you start getting creative for your own brand so we saw a lot of and I'm going to toggle back to Etsy real quick we saw a lot of outline style um birth flower where you know it's no shading inside um but you still have a mix of things that have full color and so create a fabrica you know you get to really decide what you want to sell if you want to go this route now the reason why I'm just harping on birth flower is because I have learned that this is a really good design to you know to make because when you think about it everyone loves their birthday okay birth flowers are really feminine and soft so they cater to women so you already kind of know your target audience just from this design alone they can be put on any type of product okay not even notebooks I've seen them on mugs shirts anything okay so that's why I'm using this as an example because this is a really good place to start when it comes to designing products okay so that's all that. So I wanted to show you what Creative Fabrica has just to, you know, for you to get inspo and, you know, we can, we can move like that. So I just kind of comb through this to see what stands out to me. What do I like? This seems pretty cool. It's kind of funky. Um, you have more things that are like watercolor based. And so yeah, you just, you know, take your time looking through this, right? But this is how I just find the designs I'm looking for that I want to recreate. So once you kind of gather what you want to, you know, redesign, you just go back in Canva and you just make it. <laughs> Okay, so it's that simple. So back in Canva here, um, as you see, I have my template, but I also already have something that I kind of recreated just for this video to give you inspo. So this was a birth flower bundle I downloaded from Creative Fabrica, okay? And I believe this one is August. Don't quote me, okay? My birthday is in April, so I only know April. But here is an example of what I mean. And so going back to Etsy, this particular product here, okay, it's kind of similar, okay? They have the text off to the side. This is looks like a soft cover journal. Um, and so what I can do is I could put that on this spiral, you know, notebook here. And so I actually already have this design saved. So I'm going to show you what that looks like just in full range here in Printify. So you would just download whatever design you finish and then you just add that to your products here on Printify. So this is what it looks like once it's added. And it's really important that you see this because like I just reminded you, it's good to have that template saved because this is the exact thing I use from Canva and I don't have to move this design around. It already uploaded right in the center. If you see that red line here, that means it's center aligned. So it's pretty perfect how it reads. Um, just is really easy on the eye as well and so that's it now let me move myself over here so once the design is how you like it I would just preview it so you can really see what it will look like to the customer and then the final results okay so there you have it this is the exact same product that these sellers are making, you know, that $1,800 a month, the $2,500 a month, and etc. And now, now you see how it's created here using Creative Fabrica, Canva, and Printify, okay? So just getting started, this is exactly what you can do whenever you start to design your products. It does not take a lot of brain power. Do not stress yourself out. So it, all it takes is for you to sit down, take your time, really observe what's selling well, and you know, just, just create. That's the best thing I have for you. So, so now that you've seen it for yourself, you know, that's all there is to it. You know, when it comes to designing, this is what I do every single time. And so I'm just only showing you the process that I do. Then as I advance and evolve, hey, I'll show you the same thing. Okay, so now you've seen it for yourself, how these simple design products are making sellers lots of money. I mean, it's really, 
kind of unbelievable that these simple designs are making sellers this much money because you know you kind of go into this business thinking that you have to have all this design skill and you don't okay there was proof i'm all about the receipts and i just showed you so now it's time for you to get moving <laughs> <laughs> but I say all that to say, you know, when it comes to designing, just because something works for one seller does not mean it may work for you. So just be sure to pull those creative gems that you got, okay? Don't be sleeping on yourself. Other than that, though, that's pretty much it for this video. If you learned a lot or if you have any questions, please drop it down in the comments below for me. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're liking the vibe, and I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye, y'all.